let's try to get our arms around the best mechanism for controlling CO2 emissions. And in the end, we accomplish something that it takes most governments years to, to go through a whole public comment period. The Chicago Climate Exchange is North America's first and the only CO2 emissions trading program currently in existence. Member companies agree to reduce their emissions by a certain amount, and those who beat the cap have extra emissions credits that they could then bank for future years or sell to other participants who might have difficulty meeting those rigid reduction requirements. The first CCX annual meeting was a handful of company representatives in a small room in Chicago. This past year's annual meeting included over 200 individuals representing companies as wide ranging as the large utilities, ourselves in the auto industry. There are uh, universities and academic institutions. The state of New Mexico has joined CCX and many other uh, municipalities. Ford was a founding member of the Chicago Climate Exchange and we were the first and only automotive participant. They're joining CCX to show that they're interested in making reductions themselves. They view it as the way of the future. One thing that people don't realize is the actual scope of the Chicago Climate Exchange. The CCX encompasses a quarter of a billion tons of CO2 in terms of its membership. This puts it in second place in terms of all of the CO2 markets worldwide. Over time, I think we'll begin to see these emissions markets merge into a more globalized system. Now, in, in the future, you can't predict what individual country governments will do. However, we would urge that everyone in the different countries look at creating some structure that, that works across the countries instead of focusing on isolated country-specific approaches. In the end, global cooperation is going to be required to reduce emissions in the long term.